one point nine eight four two, which means automatically you got to put down well the one point nine eight four two. So where does that go? Well, the one point nine eight four two goes right over here. What is the s? This is a hundred. The x bar we said was twenty point five. Now what is the s? Well, I, since I didn't give you the original numbers that make up the sample, you can't calculate the s, so we're going to have to make it up. So make believe s is equal to 2. I'll just make, I use the same number as before. I'm not sure if that's a good idea from a, a, a pedagogical point of view. But the s is equal to 2. So there will be a 2 here. Not, I'm sorry, it's also a bad choice because it's equal to, you know what, let's make it 2.1. Let me, let's make it 2.1. So instead of last time it was 2, now it's 2.1. So plug in these four numbers into your calculator and tell me what you get. And the answer, of course, should be very similar. This leads to a, a, an interval that should be similar to before, but a little bit bigger. Six, seven. First of all, any, uh, it looks right because last time we got, I think, 20 to 21, and this is very similar. So it's just a little bit more spread out. So I'm pretty sure it's right. If anybody's getting a different answer or not sure where she's coming from, please let me know. That's it. So what we basically introduced in this last segment was uh, um, the theory of why the T is necessary in this particular, you know, when to use it and why we're using it and how to use it by this particular application. What I'd like to do right now is basically one more example in the homework. Then we're going to apply it to the spinner assignment. And um, that will be uh, it, I think, uh, for right now. So.